Hello, hello, hello! You're tuning into the episode of The Wonder King Show. Today's second topic speak, speaks on Ravens, Lamar Jackson. Look! So, it's been a lot on Lamar the past couple episodes, and the reason why is because, like I told you, once one person likes that match, Mark Schlereth, right? Everybody runs with different um, critiquing narratives based off of what happened during what that person said. And Speak had a little thing asking, is Lamar Jackson unfairly criticized? Now, <clears throat> Shady McCoy, I got Shady McCoy speaking on it, and I got Joy Taylor speaking on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play their audio. And after I play their audio, I'm going to show you some statistics between Peyton Manning and Lamar, and then I'm going to show you Acho. You know, the big mouth that always hates on Lamar. Literally sticking his foot in his mouth and not even realizing it. When I'm doing, I'm going to play this stuff and I'm going to get going. All right, so without further ado, we're about to get this party really. <laughs> Boy, listen, my hand is so ready for the slaps. Let's get this party started. Right? You talked about him being a running back, wide receiver, all these things. He's a Heisman winning quarterback, right? right? All these other quarterbacks that was Heisman's, that was the first pick overall. We give them grace. We give them excuses. Baker Mayfield. How good is he? Let's keep it real. How good is he? Y'all never hear nobody really talk bad about him. And I like Baker. Excuses. What? What? Baker Mayfield. He always has excuses over and over again. Yes, he does. Listen, I don't care what y'all say. Baker's been ranked over the coals a couple times. Listen, listen. They don't talk about him like they talk about Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson, <laughs> Not even close. lost this year to Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Who else did <clears throat> Patrick Mahomes? Drove Brown in the playoffs one time and even had a game. They should have lost that. First half, he getting smoked. That's a Remember the game? They should have won. First half, he was getting smoked, right? The Patrick Mahomes in the second half started getting crazy with the ball, right? <laughs> Joe Burrow was sat, broke out of the sack a couple plays. All I'm saying is that for the way that we grade Lamar Jackson, it's crazy because He's doing the best he can. He could be better in the playoffs. I would give him that. He could be better in the playoffs. But a guy like Josh Allen, who I love, I think Josh is better than Lamar, just being honest, right? But I don't think we, we don't grade Josh the same way we grade Lamar Jackson. <coughs> do That's that. Mm. MVP, Lamar Jackson, right? Who time? How hard are you had to fight for your contract? Not your third contract, your fourth, your second. In the NFL, if you're a hell of a player, right, the team that drafts you, Nine times out of ten, if you're really that nice, they are going to pay you without no arguments, right? Here and there, little, little negotiations, but it's not like a fight for your contract. MVP had to go fight for his contract. Think about that for a second, though. Pat, even uh, 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 um, Aaron Rodgers, Bray, I can name all these dudes that was great players, mm. right? For the second deal comes up and they making them fight for a contract? Look at me. I had to fight for my contract. They knew what it was. So I'll just say this with Lamar Jackson. I won't go too hard on him because I, I get upset. I look at a guy like Peyton Manning, who's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And he's great, ain't he? Great. How great is he, right? Great. So let's talk about his numbers for a second, though, right? Peyton Manning's first uh, five season in the NFL, right? 0-3 in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. We always knew how good he was. Gave him grace period over, over and over again, over and over again. Because he knew eventually he would turn over. Yep. His rookie season was bad. Not league in picks. Come on now. But, oh, but we gave him that time to develop himself, get better and better and better. Lamar Jackson's not even 30 years old yet. He had a lot of time. He's a quarterback. I just hate they don't keep the same type of attitude mm -hmm. with Lamar like they do with other quarterbacks, and I'm tired of it. Now, look. Now, look. Here's the thing. I... <laughs> I, listen, I've been saying this, so you know what I'm going for. I'm going to play the Joy one real quick, and then I'm going to go even further, all right? Because once that plays, I'm going to put up the graphic and everything to let y'all show exactly where I'm coming from with this. Lamar is unfairly criticized, and I think it's because there, we've never seen anything like Lamar Jackson. Yeah. We've seen things that kind of look like I'm Lamar winner, Jackson. We ain't Lamar Jackson, to be honest. He's the only one. I played with Vic, too. Michael Vick? We've compared him to Michael Vick, compared him to Cam Newton. He's not like Cam Newton. He's not like Michael Vick. There's only one Lamar Jackson. For better or for worse, how, if, depending on how you like his game, but he is one of the most unique players that we've ever seen in the history of the NFL, and particularly that position, that we have a very specific idea of what we want it to look like, even when the position sort of shifts, which it has. Lamar is still an outlier. We want quarterbacks to run more, right? We want them to be a little mobile. Not too much, but a little bit every now and then. Just enough. Just enough. But Lamar does does more of all of that. So he's a really unique player. It's very hard for people to wrap their brains around 
what it is. What should his numbers look like? How much do we consider his rushing yards and yeah. those numbers? Do, do we count those when we talk about his total statistics? Because obviously when we come to quarterbacks, all right, how many total throwing touchdowns did they have? Do we count rushing touchdowns? With Jalen Hurts, how many of these are tush-push touchdowns? Like, how much of this all really matters? Does it count for the same? We haven't really adjusted our brains to evaluate running quarterbacks yet. We feel like we do because we keep saying we want quarterbacks to be more mobile, but we haven't done it. Okay, so check this out. Let me say this real quick because I'm going to address this so you understand where I'm coming from. I said the graphic is right here. I want you to look at this graphic real quick. I want you to really look at this graphic. This shows the playoff numbers from Peyton Manning and Lamar Jackson for their first uh, uh, six seasons for both guys, right? Look at the overall record. Look at the AFC Championship game record. Look at the wild card record. Completion in the test. Peyton was actually worse. Y'all say Lamar don't pass. He actually is only, what, 10? What is that? Eight? Yeah. No, well, well no, I'm sorry, sorry, I can do that. 13 passes or less, or 12 passes less than Peyton Manning? Like, come on now, bruh. Like, come on now, bruh. Passing yards. <laughs> Lamar Jackson has more, uh, 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 barely le a hundred less than Peyton, but more total. Like this is the same amount of interceptions. Like this is what I'm talking about, and he got grace, grace. And I'm you, listen. I'm gonna start handing out slaps. I'm 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 gonna say this to the Joy Taylor point. The reason why is not because they haven't seen nothing like Lamar. He's a unicorn. The reason why is because they were wrong. People hate to admit when they're wrong. They hate to backtrack on what they said because so many people think, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm correct. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. You're not. I know this game. I've played this game. I've seen this game. And they know what to expect. And that was part of the thing with Mark Schlereth. He said, this guy, is when he was talking about polling, he's evaluated so many other players and blah, 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 blah. He knows what he's talking about. He should be blessed that he's talking about him. That was his energy. It's because they were wrong. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys again. Because mind you, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking out facts now. This is where I'm going to show you facts, right? Check this out. Because I want you to see this. Let me get to the video real quick, right? Of literally what I've been saying when they when they compare Lamar to other quarterbacks. Because this one they're going to, uh, 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 Acho starts talking about is Daniel Jones. Look what he has to say about Daniel Jones. Check this out real quick for Daniel Jones. Look, because this makes my point fully. Check this out. I don't think that they think he's the guy. I just think they want to be convinced that he's not. And the reason I'm, I'm, I'm cool with the Giants going all in on DJ is because they paid him $80 million. If you pay a guy $80 million, then you better be for certain that he is not your future. Not, well, he got hurt, so he might not be the future. You better be, without a doubt, abundantly clear that he is not your quarterback. What we all on this desk agree with, and we've said it plenty of times, from Joy to James to Shady to myself, is no quarterback succeeds at a high level without a dominant receiver or receiving threat. What? Ah! Oh! Let me keep going. Whether it's Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, amongst others, you name it, they none of them do. Daniel Jones is the only $40 million quarterback that ain't got no Pro Bowl wide receivers. You can play oh. that's what I'll say next. He also has no Pro Bowl offensive linemen. That's not a Daniel Jones issue. So Daniel Jones is the only quarterback in the National Football League making $40 million that had no Pro Bowl wideout and had no Pro Bowl O lineman. So if you really want to assess Daniel Jones, give him the complete and fairest shot possible, which is giving him the opportunity to have Pro Bowl talent at wideout and have Pro Bowl talent on the offensive line. It's not that I love it, Joy, because I believe in DJ. That's not what it is. I love it because thank you for committing and going all in. So if it doesn't work, you can say you did everything within your power, and now we have your reconciled. Hold up. <clears throat> you hear what he just said for Daniel Jones? Huh? Give him a, a big receiving threat, and then let's see what, what he does. Isn't he the same person that said he doesn't care that OBJ is old? He doesn't care if there's injuries and stuff. Lamar just has to figure out a way to win. Isn't he the same person that said that? He's the same guy that went on there and said that regardless of who Lamar's throwing to, Lamar is too good not to go further. So he has to just make do what he has and make the best and turn it around for this team. No! Is he the same one? Tell me I'm lying. That 
That's what I'm talking about. Look how much grace he's given Daniel Jones. Oh. They have to do everything in their power to give him the opportunity to prove that he's not the guy because that's the right thing to do. She just gave him some money. Look, look at even paying him. They paid him off of a subpar one season. One subpar season. The man Lamar had the Ravens in three consecutive playoff uh, 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 scenarios. One with the best record in the entire league. The other year, he was, he was everybody was riddled by COVID. Still got him to the playoffs and won a playoff game. And they still didn't want to give him his money. Y'all can get out of here with that, bro. This is what I'm talking about. He's been unfair, pretty, unfairly criticized. And it's not because they don't see nothing like it. It's because they don't want to be wrong. It's one thing to be wrong about an average player, right? It's one thing. It's another thing to be wrong about a player like this. Lamar's uh, uh, accomplishments put him in the realm of top 10 quarterbacks of all time. You know this, right? That's what that... So think about someone saying this guy shouldn't even play the position. He's, he's trash. He can't throw. He can't read. He can't even talk properly for them to be able to understand him in the huddle. And then he goes on with multiple, uh, uh, multiple MVPs, championship, the whole nine, been number one, led the league in passing touchdowns, and they're sitting there like, Buh. how are we so wrong? How are we so wrong? And everybody defending each other. Listen, bro. Listen. Imagine what this man... And mind you, that wasn't an old episode with him and Daniel Jones. That was literally a day before this stuff with Lamar came out. That's what I'm talking about. Lamar does not get graded on the same scales as contemporaries. Literally, their mindset is, we didn't believe in him before, but since he's so good, he wants to prove people wrong. Well, fine. Since he's so good, he just has to go out there and make it work. And if he doesn't make it work, then that's on him not being up to what we thought uh, what he should be at that level of player. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Look at me and make it make sense. It, it doesn't. A guy that had you perpetually in the playoffs every year. Had you as a top two, top three, top four team in the AFC every single year. Been a two time, been an MVP twice. Been a unanimous once. Led the league in passing touchdowns. Had the best uh, offense once. Had a top five offense like three or four times. And you're looking at him saying, you got to do more, bro. Got to do more. To be fair, Tyler Linderbaum is probably going to be the best center in the league by the end of this year, if not already. But outside of that, we just got Tyler Linderbaum. Y'all forgot the center that was hiking the ball over Lamar that got him concussed in the playoff game? Oh, yeah, y'all yeah, don't want to talk about that. Ronnie Stanley's been in and out of the, play, uh, in and out of the lineup? Y'all don't want to talk about that. Rushing threat, Lamar's been the rushing threat. Receiving threat, Mark hasn't been available for any of the playoff games. We can do this all day long, baby. We can do this all day. All night long, all night, all night, all night long. They are playing games? Ridiculous. And they have no shame. None. Talk about, look at this. Acting like Lamar can't throw, Lamar can't play, Lamar can't this, Lamar can't that. But he keeps racking up accolade after accolade after accolade. He's going to win the Super Bowl. That's inevitable. The only question is how many. And I told you, he's not going to hang up his cleats, barring injury, before he has at least two. And he's going to win another MVP. Believe that. So let's see where everyone is at that point. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, God. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with me, thinking that he's unfairly criticized, after showing you proof of them then uh, uh, making the excuses that we've been trying to tell you about Lamar for Daniel Jones? All the other quarterbacks. Daniel Jones? Let me know what you think down in the comment section, please, all right? I swear to God, they get me mad, bro. They get me so frustrated. On July 4th, they better be lucky I'm going to bust some fireworks to take my anger out in the sky. Because if not, boy, I'd be slapping till my hands turn red. You know what I'm saying? But it's always, <gasps> that's the episode of the Wonderkind.
show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You don't love the comments. If you have not done so already, check out the one that controls Patreon. Yes, three tiers of content goodness way via consumption. Give it a look, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, help out with equipment and such stuff like that, bottom of the screen, QR code. QR codes to a cash app. Literally, guys, that's how we do everything in this channel. <laughs> that's how we get new stuff. Um, you saw that the big hurricane just came out. Mashed up Jamaica shout outs to all my Jamaican brethren, you know what I'm saying and now it's they say it's gonna go up and hit Texas and most and maybe even Louisiana <laughs> Trying to um, get the money together to get a Starlink. So even if it does it I still put out content for you guys That's what we're saving for that's what right now We're doing for a new camera so in case even if this camera gets you know damaged We have it we have a spare one and a better one or we use this one as the spare one and the Starlink system so we can upload you know what I'm saying so that's what we're saving the money for so if you want if you're donating that's where it's going to you know what I'm saying so if you need to know where that's where <clears throat> but once again it's another episode of the Wonder King show this is your host Nigel signing off and as always you know my slogan peace and I am out of here huh you're finish him daddy